Hi guys, I welcome you all to day 24 of our lecture series. So we were doing topic 1.8 and uh, today we will study the Iron Age and you know finish this chapter and after this we are going to start with the very important uh, part of anthropology that is the social anthropology part. So please uh, do like, share and subscribe. Before we start our lecture today, a brief announcement that is this is uh, the QR code for my telegram channel you guys can join the telegram channel for uh, more updates on the videos and more previous year questions discussions etc so please do uh, join in and uh, let's get started so yesterday we, yesterday we had finished the bronze age and as well as the chalcolithic age so today's topic would be the iron age uh, so as far as uh, this chapter is concerned you will uh, you will know that coming from paleolithic period to iron age human and the civilization itself came a long way right uh, they came a long way and this was by far the the most civilized and the most complex society that we have studied till now so let's get started now iron age basically uh, as we say whatever uh, the three stages we had studied in the prehistoric times that is the stone age the bronze age and the iron age so, so this is the third age in the three age system of prehistory first point is this and the second point is whatever the names that is given that is stone age bronze age iron age it is basically on the dominant tool technology that was used in that period so for example in the stone age the dominant tools were made of stone in the bronze age the dominant tools were made of bronze so is in the iron age the dominant tool technology would be iron so tools and weapons made of iron but it doesn't take away from the fact that other tools apart from iron will also be used that is the stone tools or maybe the bronze tools it's not like they will not be used anymore right it is just that the dominant tool technology would be shifted right <clears throat> so now this uh, period roughly started around one, 1000 bc and you know when iron came in this metal was widely and extensively used for clearing the forests now we had studied in the uh, bronze age itself that the forests were getting cleared right in the neolithic also some some part of the land was getting cleared but you must understand that, that the stone axes or maybe the copper axes were not so equipped to clear the land on a large scale because as a as a metal bronze was not that strong as iron is or uh, stone tools were all the more brittle right so these were not equipped to clear land on a wide scale but iron was so when iron came in a lot of forests got cleared a for uh, agricultural purposes b uh, it was then used for large settlements and kingdoms creation of kingdoms happened so we will study this in the further slides do not worry about this so when forests got clear it led to establishment of large cities permanent colonies and mighty political power now you have to understand uh, as uh, uh, if you go back to the story up till only neolithic because neolithic is where the agriculture started then the things got improved in the chalcolithic or bronze age right and now we are in the iron age everything is going to be same only agriculture yahan shuru hua tha agriculture yahan pe bhi ho raha hai but the technologies are improving the way we do it is improving so now if manipulation of environment could produce more food that means more population that means more bigger colonies that means uh, now there will be a requ requirement of political leadership also to control that kind of uh, uh, bigger settlements so that means there will be kingdoms and then there could be wars against one kingdom over the other so all of those complexities also started to come right and the climate was more or less warm and dry in the post glacial period this was more or less similar in the copper bronze age also and in the neolithic period also so now why iron iron because it was much stronger than the bronze 
हमने इसके बारे में बात कर ली है देन इट हैड हायर मेल्टिंग पॉइंट दैट मीन्स इट वॉज इट इट कु इट डिड नॉट मेल्ट वेरी ईजिली राइट देन इट वॉज अवेलेबल इन प्लेंटी इन द इन्वायरमेंट सो दैट वॉज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्टर कि आपको हर जगह मिल रहा है सो दैट इज़ वाई द एक्सपेंस ऑफ आयरन एज वॉज मोर देन एनी अदर मेटल एज यू नो बिकॉज आयरन वॉज मोस्ट वाइड स्प्रेड सो दैट इज़ ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट देन हैड डेवलप्ड द टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर आयरन ऑफकोर्स बिकॉज आयरन टू मेक आयरन यू नीड टू हैव दैट काइंड ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी ऑल्सो सो बाय द टाइम आयरन एज केम द पीपल हैड ट्राइड मैनी अलॉयज मैनी काइंड ऑफ यू नो मेटल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड एंड दे डेवलप द आयरन टेक्नोलॉजी राइट एंड इट वॉज चीपर देन दी अदर सो नाउ कॉपर इन द कॉपर एज वॉज वेरी वेरी कॉस्टली यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट सो कॉपर वॉज नॉट एज प्लेंटीफुल इज आयरन एंड कॉपर वॉज प्लेंटी सो वेन कॉपर एज वॉज देयर ना इवन देन कॉपर वॉज नॉट यूज एज अ वेरी वेरी इन वेरी एक्सटेंसिव वे बिकॉज कॉपर वॉज एक्सपेंसिव मेटल सो इन इक्वालिटी वॉज नॉट एज मच बिकॉज इट वॉज यूज बाय लेस पीपल बट वेन आयरन एज गेम आयरन मेड अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस बिकॉज इट वॉज चीपर इट वॉज यूज बाय मोर पीपल देन द इन इक्वालिटी पर से स्टार्टेड टू इंक्रीज राइट वन थिंग इज दिस सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द आयरन एज यू कैन सी हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ टूल्स दैट व मेड फ्रॉम आयरन दिस दीज आर सम सोर्ड्स देन देर आर सर्टन यूटिलिटेरियन थिंग्स ऑल्सो देन देर आर एग्रीकल्चरल टूल्स ऑल्सो मेड वेपनरीज ऑल्सो मेड सो आयरन वॉज यूज नॉट ओनली इन वन एस्पेक्ट बट इन मेनी राइट या सो नाउ टूल टाइप्स फर्स्ट वुड बी द एग्रीकल्चरल टूल्स इन एग्रीकल्चर टूल्स दे वुड बी प्लाउ शेयर सिक्किल स्पेड्स सॉ एक्सेज सो यू कैन सी सम ऑफ देम हियर यू नो दीज वर यूज इन एग्रीकल्चर देन दे वर एरोज स्वोर्ड्स ब्लेड्स दिस इज वन वन आयरन एज स्वोर्ड यू कैन सी एंड देर वर प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइक्रोलिट्स विदाउट एनी चेंज दैट मीन्स द टूल्स दैट वर यूज फ्रॉम द मीजोलिथिक और न्योलिथिक एज दे डि नॉट स्टॉप दे वर यूज एज सच राइट विदाउट एनी चेंज इवन दे वर यूज बिकॉज दीज वर जस्ट इम्प्रूवमेंट ओवर द अदर टेक्नोलॉजी इट वॉज नॉट लाइक वी वर अबैंडनिंग द प्रीवियस टेक्नोलॉजीज राइट या सो नाउ द एरिया इफ वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट द एरिया विल रिमेन मोर और लेस सिमिलर ओनली इफ आई हैव टू ड्रॉ इट आई विल जस्ट टेल यू हेयर जस्ट थिंक राइट जस्ट लेट मी ड्रॉ इट फर्स्ट I am just drawing in a rough diagram, guys. Okay. Yeah. Just try to imagine. Okay. So the 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 region I will try to mark from here. See, it is Anatolia. That is the modern day Turkey, Iran, wala part. Then Mesopotamia. Then Levant, Jordan, Mediterranean. Egypt, Indian subcontinent, Tagzila, Europe, and Caucasus. Now let's mark here. See. Okay. Uh, I should mark with the black pen. Yeah. Okay. So first, no. Let's just highlight. Okay. Let's just not mark it. Just highlight it. Okay. So this would be the Indian subcontinent, right? In Indian subcontinent, the Mahajan Pads. uh you know it was the time of the mahajanpads uh, and the janpads wala time so just keep that in mind right uh then this is the tagzila and gandhar wala region right then there was uh, this levant region and then israel region then you know you have the caucasus would be somewhere here and you know yahi pe kahi aapko anatolia wala region bhi mil jayega then europe was also a very important part right then uh, mediterranean wala part this would be all the mediterranean region right this this part was also you know uh, mesopotamia and all of that so basically you can see more china was also there 
uh, right so you can see more or less if i have to highlight it in a broad sense this part was more or less this part only right so this is where most of the civilizations were there it was not like there was no populations here there were populations here also but may they might not have started the technology uh, using the same technology in that time or maybe they must have got it later on like that right but the major focus area would be this right so you can just name a few like uh, anatolia right the turkey wala region mesopotamia levant india me mahajanpads right uh, yeah so hastinapur was important city in tagjila and gandhar then europe then caucasus region caucasus uh, i told you yesterday also uh, jo black sea and caspian sea ke beech ka region hai right so all of these regions now the socio cultural features now very very important uh, here it was large scale production of barley and rice that means barley and rice was used uh, in large scale production so cereal production matlab kafi zyada ho gayi thi right apart from that if different kind of plants and you know different kind of plants were also grown like different uh, bahut zyada matlab 200 kind of varieties were there so so many you know like that so new irrigation techniques were there हमने देखा था फ्रॉम द न्यूलिथिक टाइम ओनली द इरीगेशन टेक्निक्स वर यू नो इट स्टार्टेड सो ऑफकोर्स इन द आयरन एज दे मस्ट हैव मॉडर्नाइज डैम्स का कंसेप्ट आ गया था एंड यू नो ऑल ऑफ दैट देन हर्डिंग डोमेस्टिकेशन ऑफ एनिमल्स लाइक शीप गोट कैटल बफेलो ये सब यू नो हर्डिंग एंड डोमेस्टिकेशन वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ लाइफ ठीक है ना फॉर फॉर फूड फॉर क्लोदिंग फॉर everything right it 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 became an economic activity then trade and commerce now trade and commerce not only uh, in the village but in the in intra inter civilizations also for example we had seen na in the ivc times also ivc had uh, uh, connections with mesopotamian civilizations so from the chalcolithic age itself from that time only the trade had started to flourish right hame uh, hame mahajan pads ka bhi pata hai you know they were having trade with so many uh, tagjila and gandhar sites right so trade and commerce kafi zyada flourish ho chuka tha pottery was started on wheel now a pottery mein difference hi aaya ki pottery ab handmade nahi hai pottery ab wheel pe ban rahi hai wheel hota hai na potter's wheel hota hai uske upar aap uh, pottery banate ho to it's a lot more easier right and there were designs like painted grey ware isse pehle alag uh, isse pehle dusre bhi the then red ware was there then black ware was there in gandhar you will find uh, polished uh, black ware so different different kind of uh, uh, designs were there then lapis lazuli ornaments bangles and beads lapis lazuli is a semi precious ornaments right so these the use of semi precious ornaments the use of uh, you know uh, making ma you making use of lapis lazuli for ornaments for beads so you can see how now uh, decorative items or you know aesthetics also are playing a part you know that is also become important there were terracotta seals terracotta you know na uh, that uh, clay ke uh, यू नो बनता है सील्स वगैरह ये हमने आई वी सी में भी देखे थे दैट वॉज ब्रॉन्ज एज सो यू कैन सी आई वी सी दो वॉज अ ब्रॉन्ज एज कल्चर इट हैड ऑल द फीचर्स ऑफ दिस दैट इज वाई वी से ना दैट आई वी सी इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एडवांस कल्चर इन द वर्ल्ड मतलब मोर देन मेसोपोटेमिया एंड ऑल बिकॉज मेसोपोटेमिया वगैरह तो दे वर द आयरन एज का टाइम बट आई वी सी हैड ऑल दीज फीचर्स इन द ब्रॉन्ज एज टाइम इट सेल्फ so that is why ivc kuch 3000 years pehle start ho gaya tha right and iron age to 1000 bc mein start hua so that time only it was having so much sophisticated things so whenever whatever we are reading here it's not like any uh, anything was missing in the ivc culture right this was all present there urban society uh, then societies were also urbanized like we had seen that in ivc itself then very important point one important point is religious specialist now abhi tak humne dekha tha religion as a concept had emerged 
people had their personal faith and worship now in this time uh, the because see the point is jab agriculture aaya agriculture with agriculture came the surplus with surplus came the division uh, or what you can say the diversification of uh, occupation because now everyone was not required to uh, just create food there was enough food if five people were uh, you know employed in agriculture they could feed 20 people so now what will rest 15 do so th- these 15 were now employed in varied occupations right so when the society became such a complex society and then you know uh, we discussed this also not always you could manipulate the environment even today humans are so advanced right today humans are so advanced but even today you know there there is certain limitation which we cannot you know uh, today also deal with for example the covid virus only you can say right uh, when this covid uh, pandemic came you know that uh, exposed us our limitations you know that means that there is something which we cannot manipulate always so those fears those uh, uh, anxiety issues that were there in the societies for example any time if uh, okay any time any uh, famine would come epidemic would happen because i told you na uh, when agriculture started a lot of new diseases the epidemics and famines also uh, started to spread so these things were uh, taken off as a mag- magico religious uh, thing right so to deal with these ma- uh, ma- magical religious things religious specialists like priests uh, were given a lot of importance because they were th- thought of as like people who uh, you know could uh, pray or request to the god or you know just uh, you know help to curb those uh, fear feelings of fear and anxiety right so priest uh, the medicine man right medicine man would be there then the sorcerers different type of magical magical religious specialists would come in this time because this society is now a complex society you know kehte hai na ki you know jitna complexity badhegi utne zyada different different kind of uh, things occupations would come up right like today who would have thought that teaching from a youtube platform would be a thing would be a profession for people today people are opting for such kind of professions also right but this was not uh, a a thing which we could think when internet was not there or when youtube kind of uh, social platforms were not a great success right so when societies will become complex all those all these new kind of occupations uh, things will come up right as of now no other society uh, in bronze age or chalcolithic age would have a full time specialist like a priest but now there were right and then there were class based societies right now uh, surplus was there land titles were there kingdoms were there kings were there so obviously there would be uh, inequalities right social inequalities will be there we had seen the uh, the the uh, uh, you know the status of women had deteriorated then there would be traders and merchants and then priests who would eventually you know uh, gain a lot of social prestige the the kings will get and the royal families will have a lot of prestige so that way the society had become a lot uh, matlab in equal society was there so that is also one thing then houses of mud brick wattle and daub i just want to show show you these kind of uh, houses you know used to exist this is wattle and daub kind of houses and the, these could be either circular or rectangular any kind of right so th- this is made of mud and clay and then you know twigs of uh, leaf see this is uh, like twigs and branches of trees so you put them like that and this is made of the clay or mud right that like that right now dead bodies were buried 
along with iron implements right so obviously there was some belief in afterlife also many places and then uh, you know these tools would be used in the afterlife it was believed like that so uh, iron implements were buried with the in the burials then kingdom sort of political systems we had seen in the in case of india also janpads were started so janpads were what janpads had their own uh, uh, king na who was you know the king of the jana right so rajan and others right so the kingdom kind of thing started then eventually mahajan pads bhi bane the right usme to bahut bade bade uh, kings aa gaye the so similarly was happening in other places also you know kingdom kind of uh, things had started art had become more sophisticated of course that will happen now art was done on small terracotta seals so they were only of the size of a button so if you could manage to you know pre, uh, precisely draw on that small a thing so obviously the art must have been more sophisticated the sculptures the drawings you know all of that had gained much more sophistication script had come so now written records whether deciphered or not is a different thing but script many places it was seen that script has all uh, had also come so all these were the uh, the points that you could use and uh, this was all about iron age i hope you understood and you liked the lecture so today we have completed this chapter and Uh, many a things in this chapter we will cover again when we do in indian anthropology i will try to integrate this part and indian anthropology again the whole thing uh, any doubts please uh, post in the comment section below i will put the links of the other topics of this chapter uh, in the description box so please guys do like share and subscribe and thank you